What's going on, YouTube? Clay Q's all back again with another video, and today we're talking all about Sino Alice. They have been gracious enough to sponsor us, so thank you to Sino Alice for sponsoring this video. You guys have been telling me to check out this game anyway, so now I can give kind of like my first impressions and my first looks at Sino Alice. Let's get into it. Okay, so they have me starting uh, picking off my unit, and it looks like I can choose between Pinocchio, uh, Alice, then we have Snow White, or Red Riding Hood, and honestly, looking at all of the different characters I've been kind of trying to pick here, I think I'm going to go with Alice. I think she looks the coolest out of all of these. Uh, I really want to pick Pinocchio, just because it's Pinocchio, but <laughs> I'm going to go with Alice here and see what happens. Uh, do you want this one or not? Decide quickly. Yep, I'll take Alice. She looks cool as heck. And the game is called Sino Alice, so this might work out. All right, we unlocked Alice Breaker. Nice. Okay, and now we're in here swiping up enemies, taking them out, uh, and we're gathering AP. I'm not sure why Endless Purification until rank 40. Not sure what this means yet, but I'm grabbing AP and experience. And what I'm doing is I'm sliding my finger to, like, combo it up. Looks like I ranked up right there. Tap your character to perform a special attack. All right, so we tap. We do some animated sick thing, killing them all off. Okay, all right, here we go. All right, so I think this is round four. Oh wait, it has time limit though. So uh, long as I fight, I didn't get to read that. Okay, so that looked like it was a time limited thing and I just came to the conclusion of that. So it looks like this first thing they had me do was like run around and swipe through enemies and kill them all in a time limited thing. And the AP recovered might be our energy. Yeah, I think that might be our energy there. Okay, and it looks like after it had me fill my energy up, I get to go play the story now. And they have a ton of different uh, stories to choose from. I guess you pick and you'll slowly unlock the chapters. We have Alice, Snow White, Cinderella, Cinderella, excuse me, Gretel, Sleeping Beauty, Red Riding Hood, Princess Kaguya, and Pinocchio. But I'm going to go with Alice because that's the first one. You know, that's the unit I picked anyway. Um, and then we just go in and do battle, I guess. So we're heading into the story. You can see special scenes and some story sections about fighting as a character who also appears in the Chosen Story. Okay, so if we go in on the Chosen Story, if we bring this certain character, we will still see special scenes. Uh, and it says chapter one, verse one is a demo, so you get to see the story either way. Well, crap, man. I was ain't working out for me this time right here, but we'll see. We'll see how this goes. They have some really creepy vibes with this game, dude. Like, look at this, man. But it's cool. Alice woke. She could hear faint noises in the darkness around her. She smelled blood. This world was not her own. But she understood the task at hand. She had to revive her author, Lewis Carroll. And she knew uh, that in order to make her wish come true, she would have to kill many, many others. And that's like the main story that apparently is with this game. You have to murder others to get blood to then revive your author, which is kind of crazy. <laughs> kind of devilish, dude. But hey, man. See what happens here. All right, so we're coming to the battle. We're in wave one. Things look a little bit different than us just clicking around. We actually have a hammer now. Time to celebrate this world of stories. Uh, get out there and do some damage. All right, so I have all of these different weapons I guess I, I use. Uh, we'll use a skill here. You can tap an enemy to target it. All right, give it a shot. We're going to go hit the, get the, uh, oh my God, drop the hammer on him. Not bad at all. Uh, okay, keep going and keep killing. Do this game! <laughs> You have to work hard if you want to revive your author. Yeah, yeah, so that's the whole point of it. So now we're moving on to wave two. Uh, this is a source of all magical power, which is our SP. Uh, without it, you can't summon weapons. Uh, we call it SP to make things easier. You regain SP over time. That's because, just by existing, characters absorb magical power from the world. Now use your skills and eat up some SP. All right, dude. Get the scythe out, baby. Oh, that's AOE damage right there. Uh, speed equals victory. Yes, good, very good. That's it. It's kill or be killed. All right. Moving on to wave three and finish it. All right, dude, I want to use uh, the time, the time looking thing. Uh, we'll end up by telling you just a bit about the characters you'll meet and about how this world doesn't belong to you alone. Oh, Sleeping Beauty coming in to help me out. There are various characters who appear in stories. Uh, you may even meet some that look identical. You surely have been wondering why, why is that? But that's a secret. These guys are freaking me out, bro. <laughs> so yeah, like I understand. I want to use this so bad. Let's see what happens here. Just big AOE holy damage, it looked like. Ooh, a boss. Okay. Dragon? Uh, yo, a <laughs> dragon! All right, dude. How merciless, how feckless, how useless. That didn't do nothing at all. All right, yeah, but you, you haven't seen my true power yet. Oh my god, Sleeping Beauty's gone down, dude. Oh no. She died just like that. Still a dragon. Here at the very start? How absurd, how totally unbalanced. Dude, it's not gonna... Oh my god, never mind. <laughs> it's 
still beats Alice up. All right, they're sending in some real help. Cinderella, Red Riding Hood, Gretel, they're all coming to my side. We've asked other characters to help, but that doesn't make it any easier, so do your best. All right, dude, so it looks like... Oh, Cinderella's a little bit of a bard-ass character. I like that. All right, so the dragon's getting some debuffs, it looks like. They're coming in. I am going to use, you know, Lance's Dragoons normally kill the dragon, so let's go. Oh, that was okay damage. Wasn't too bad. And then he's got AoE, of course. He is a tough one. All right, summon. Ooh, I get to summon now. What? Summon a nightmare to increase your power. Wait, why do I have a wolf nightmare? Oh my god, he's huge! <laughs> oh, okay, that buffed us up pretty big. Now for the counter attack. All right, ending it right here. Oh, okay, dude. That wolf, that wolf buff was OP, bro. See you later, dragon. See you later. That's pretty OP, actually. Dude, I think I want Cinderella bad after seeing her in battle. The fact that she's like a bard, like plays a violin, that is pretty sick, actually. So guys, looking into the progression and like how you can build up your character, it looks like you have one unit and then you go into fight with a bunch of other people's, uh, you know, like your friend units or uh, NPCs or just random co-op people will come in and help you as we saw in the last battle of the dragon. So you really focus on building your person up the best you can and the different weapons will allow you to unlock different characters or different classes for that character. Right now we have Alice Breaker, that's what the game gave us. But if we end up getting one of Alice's like uh, mage type weapons, we'll unlock mage Alice, so we can actually select class. I don't have any of them open right now, but you can go here and select like Mage Alice. And right now, I also have uh, Sleeping Beauty, which the game gave me that, guys. They still look like they're handing out a ton of uh, free stuff. If you get in, I saw some pre-registration rewards still floating around. So if you want to get in, this is a good time to get that stuff. But as you can see, you have different weapons, and that's going to depend on your class, etc., that you can put on. And these weapons are your attacks in battle, as we saw. So it looks like you really need to level up those weapons, unlock the different ones. They have armor, which I haven't even gotten yet, where you can build up your character. And then as we saw the nightmares, this is what somebody they that gave us that big boost. The wolf roared for us and let us beat down the dragon. So, yeah, and we can see that, like I said, the game did end up giving me Sleeping Beauty uh, Sorcerer, I think is what this was. Uh, so, like, I have that special weapon right there to put on that unlocks it for her and lets, lets me play this class. And that's how you pick your different characters as you go in. Uh, again, the game is also offering a bunch of different stuff for new players. Like we have the rookie path where you can go in. It's going to teach you what in the game, give you certain missions to do, and then give you a bunch of rewards for doing that. And then as we're going to go over to the gotcha and look at it right now. So for Halloween, they're running this special event right here where we can check out what's going to be on this banner. And it's going to be like a step up, but uh, that's for like the more veteran gotcha players. It looks like we have the opportunity to unlock Little Mermaid Halloween and then Cinderella Halloween if we pull these certain weapons like I talked about. If we get the Hunting Bow of Misery or the Wolf Strings of Depravity, we're going to be able to unlock that specific class for that character, which is cool because that's how you unlock the different things. So you are pulling for weapons, but the weapons unlock the different classes when you pull them. It's not like a double gotcha banner. Uh, and then so we can look at the appearance rates over here. We got 3% for the SR, which is what we're going for. 20% for the S and the A. And there's a ton of different people you can unlock depending if you end up getting their weapons. Uh, so you can get these off banners and uh, unlock these different classes if you'd like to be able to go and play with and i'm sure certain ones are better in certain situations but we got a ton of this free currency this all came from me just getting it and starting the game so we're going to try our best to get that uh cinderella because that's who i really want to get my hands on right now so let's see what happens here let's see the summoning animation as well and test it out all right so we pull this bad boy down here a little creepy that guy's heads off what the <laughs> what happened to your head man all right, so the summoning animation goes up, and I'm not exactly sure what a SR is or an S is yet. So I'm going to open all, and we're going to see what happens. Those are A's. Okay, we got an S, Harper Collection. We got the Little Mermaid Halloween! <laughs> Boom, baby, it's that easy! So we got Little Mermaid because, again, we got the Hunting Bow of Misery. Bada bing, bada boom, I'll review that later, man. Okay, so we got some nice weapons going on there, and we've already unlocked. Was that, like, guaranteed back there? I don't know if it was or not. Uh, that's pretty crazy. Uh, there's an SR at the very end guaranteed. So let's keep this going and see what we can get. Maybe we can get both of them here and have them both uh, be unlocked for us to mess around with. So maybe if the dude loses his head, that means an SR. Oh, his head's on this time. That book down there. I got to learn these different animations. Wait, is she transforming it? <laughs> there it is, dude. The head kick. And Bob dropped a book on us, dude. Asks us if we wanted more rares. All right, I'm going to click it. I'm going to click it this time. Okay, there's an S guaranteed, so I'm not sure what makes the SR book. And there's another S, so we'll have to see. So here's some more weapons so we can upgrade them and fight with them as well. Uh, we're going to go all the way to the step up here. We have enough of the currency, I hope. 
Let's see. If we, we're probably going to get almost there. I'm going to have to go do some more uh, grinding to get it, dude. All right, here we go. Pull it down. Let me see. All right, what's the end? Holy crap. That was a crap ton. Uh, bad luck is not our problem. It's yours. What? <laughs> These little guys are talking crap, man. All right, here we go. Oh, oh, it's waiting to open that one. Does that mean SR? Whoa, Princess Kaguya Cleric. It's an S, so see, even S's ones can unlock you different characters. That's kind of sweet, actually. All right, we have to do 300 here, and then how much is the last step? Hopefully it's 300. Let's make sure we can, oh my gosh, we're just gonna be a little short, but that's what I'm saying, guys. I'll go back and grind the game a little bit, show some more uh, of the game playoffs so you guys can see it. So pull one down. Okay, I see, I see a glowy book in there, that's good. One more rare, please, yes! Blow his head off! <laughs> Beat his ass, dude! <laughs> All right, here we go. Opening all. Okay, lots of A's. We have an S, empty teachings, and oh, it wasn't a new character, man. See, I don't know how good, I haven't played the game enough to know how good each of these things are. All right, so let's go and do some battles so we can come back and finish up this step up. Continuing the story now to try to get some more of that premium currency so we can do that final summon and show off what the battle is like on auto. And we're using the little mermaid class. So again, oh my gosh, that's a three person setup there. They're battling. But these are other players. These are other players coming in. Co-op is a big thing in this game. Um, you do have like stickers and stuff that you guys can talk through. Like, I guess we select it and then it puts it above our characters. So stickers are like fun little meme -y things you guys can do in the game as well. They have a ton of different ones. You're hopeless. Wow, this game is savage, dude. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so there is an auto feature if you guys want it to auto, but now I'm going to come in and I'm going to take control so we can take down this boss and have no worries about it. Uh, let's go in here. Let's use our Lance attack. 163. All right, dude. So it is the early stages, so things are a little bit easier. But that's kind of the combat in a nutshell, and you will have to team up with people. It's very important. I know in Guild Wars, when you guys fight, it's very much uh, centered around, you know, strategy planning out your attacks because again you're going to be playing with your other guild mates at the same time to take on the other guild same with co-op uh it, it, it's a ton of strategy involved where you're building up your one character but you need to make sure you're bringing in the right stuff to do the fight you know what i mean with your other friends that you're playing with so that's very important before we get out of here guys they did want me to mention their newest update to the game it's going to be active reality it's a new story added to the game for red riding hood alice dorothy little mermaid where it's actually set in the modern world so you can see there's alternative costumes and uh characters here for alice little mermaid dorothy all of them and you're gonna be able to get them and actually use them in your party and it kind of sets them like i said in the modern world almost in like our world you can see they're kind of students or different kind of aesthetics here for the different characters so it's a cool update for you guys to get your hands on here and look forward to playing uh once you get further through the game when this update hits so if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up remember to click the link in the description below to try out Sinnoh Alice today and i'll catch you guys in the next video